Hello everyone, my name is Quad and welcome to a video that will show you how to complete all the challenges for Kyle's Prison Break mission. This mission is different compared to the other two because it is mostly randomly generated. I will show you how to complete every single challenge that is a bit harder. Most of them are extremely easy to complete, so I think we should start with those. Destroying immunodes will only count for you if you command your brothers and let them destroy the immunodes. Same goes for the four passwords. You need to find piles of rubble like this one and mark it. Your brothers will then go to it and boom. After the boom you need to go there and collect the password. The unveiled challenge is also quite easy to complete. You will find veiled grenier absolutely everywhere. So you just need to throw the veil breaker at them and unveil them. Easy. If you are having problems though be sure to look at every random room you can find. You can see the map on the screen right now, but there is also a link in the description to a picture of it, so you can zoom in and you can actually see what's on the map. Most of the rooms are the same from the start of the mission to the spaceship, but after that they split into three separate levels with three different main rooms connected by hallways and random rooms. There are six types of random rooms, the rooms I marked with the dashed yellow line on the map. The V-shaped balcony room can spawn a few things. The gene stamp is right in the middle, floof on the left and password on the right. The next room is bigger and can only spawn a veiled grenier and I've also heard there is a possible floof in there somewhere but I wasn't lucky enough to get its location and no one could tell me the exact location of the floof as well. The third random room you can find has a nice view and a gene stamp in it. I'm not sure but be sure to look around if you also find a floof here as well. To dust now. The next room is a balcony with a Nimu node in the middle. You can find a password here on the left. And the next room is really long. You can find a password here on the left and on the right you can find a gene stamp and Cal's floof. And yes, the room is extremely long, for some freaking reason. The second to last room is small and has an immunode in the middle. You can find a gene stamp, Carl's floof or even a password here. And the last rooms are hidden rooms in the wall. They seem to be mostly random and usually don't have anything in them. Every time I checked them, they were empty, but some people are saying they found Cal's floof and a piece of password in there, so destroy them just in case. One is guaranteed to spawn right at the beginning, and the second one is guaranteed to spawn in the first big room where you have to save two prisoners. But yeah, that is it. You can find these rooms every time you'll see a random room in the next walkthrough, but now I'll lead you through everything to the point of the spaceship.
just. At this point, as I said before, the mission will split into three and it really depends on what you get. I will not show you any locations but will tell you exactly what you need to know. In every big main room where you have to save the prisoners, there is three gene stamp locations and one password. At least a possibility of it. There is also hallways connecting every single room there, so go to the end of every single hallway you see to get a random room. But yeah, that is it. As I said, this mission is probably the hardest to explain. There is so much randomness that you cannot imagine. Um, I hope this video helped at least a little bit. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share or maybe even subscribe. And also have a very nice day. Bye guys.